Do you dare jump back into the madness that is the multiverse? If you're here watching this video, I think the answer is probably yes. Welcome back, Nerd Squad. I'm your host, Manny McKnight, and today we'll be jumping into the top 10 scariest alternate Marvel universes, part three. Let's go. Number 10, Earth 90213. There are tons of scary alternate universes for Peter, which isn't surprising given all the trauma he's already been through in the main continuity of Earth 616, and how frequently it seems things could have gone even more wrong or sideways in his life. In the reality of Earth 90213, from the comic What If Spider-Man Back in Black, we get to see just how much worse things could have gotten for Peter if Aunt May wasn't accidentally targeted by Kingpin's hitmen, but instead, Mary Jane stepped into their crosshairs. However, unlike May, MJ doesn't end up in critical care, she just straight up dies. This sets Peter down a path of darkness, where instead of just badly beating and terrifying Kingpin while May's life is on the line, Spider-Man is actually focused on killing him. Aunt May tries to beg Peter to think about what Mary Jane would have wanted and not to pursue the man responsible, but he is blinded by rage. In the end, he succeeds in killing Kingpin and is arrested by Iron Man and the authorities and taken to prison. For his part, Peter blames the whole thing on Iron Man, who in this reality, he's still unmasked for in order to show solidarity for Iron Man's Superhero Registration Act. Number 9, My Little Thanos. This feels like a weird one to have on this list, but I think it is both terrifying and adorable, which is a unique combination of descriptors for a story, so I thought I would share it with you. Also, I just really like it. My Little Thanos is another tale, likely from an alternate timeline, featured in the Thanos Annual from 2018. Back on part one, Connor talked about the Thanos wins reality from the second arc of the main story of that comic, and on my part two, I talked about another alternate timeline story from this annual. The annual is a really fun read and a good standalone collection of just short Thanos tales outside of continuity, so whether or not you pick up the main series, I would really recommend reading this issue at least. Just read the annual, even if you don't want to read the whole series. It's great. It's fantastic. In My Little Thanos, Thanos visits an adorable world of cute little beings known as the Adorals. Noticing how bright their world shines, he attempts to get whatever source of power they have that causes such an effect. You know Thanos, he's all about power. The Adorals in general are just enthusiastic about everything, including being subjugated by their new god Thanos. They happily murder themselves and one another at his behest and get him the artifact that they worship. It turns out it's just a heart that makes a squeaky sound when you squeeze it. It's a very disturbing but delightful world. And friends, before we move on to this next spot, if you are loving this list and you want to learn about even more scary alternate Marvel universes, I'm pretty sure we could just keep going forever. There's a lot of them. So be sure to let us know by giving this video a thumbs up. Number eight, Limbo. Limbo is the dimension and reality where Magic, aka Ilyana Rasputin, was held as a prisoner when she was young. She was kidnapped by the evil Belasco, who sought to use her to harness her power and also to turn her into a sort of protege for his own dastardly means. In the end, Magic ended up escaping her captor and even rising up against him and taking Limbo for herself, defeating Belasco. While Magic has her own dark side known as Dark Child, it is because of her alignment as a hero that I am ranking Limbo a little lower than I might otherwise. Magic, you see, tends to rule over Limbo and, you know, she's pretty inherently good overall. Still, Limbo is basically a hell dimension on its own, so it's still a pretty scary alternate reality to visit. Unless you have magic with you and on your side. And even then, I imagine it would still be like a little bit scary, a little bit traumatizing, at least. Just cause like, demons and such. Number 7, Earth 21619. The Earth of 21619 takes the idea of Peter becoming a killer of villains even farther. In the back in black what if, Peter feels as though he is somewhat justified as Kingpin was the one who took Mary Jane from him. He was pushed to the breaking point by her death basically. However, on the Earth of 21619, which is the reality number given to the universe that we see in the Chip Zdarsky and Phil Noto series, Spider-Man, Spider Shadow, it is Spider-Man's union with Venom that brings out a darkness within him and sets him on a path where he is killing multiple villains, taking a new approach to crime fighting as he falls deeper and deeper into to the darkness that the symbiote unleashes from within. What happens with Peter also inevitably leads to another hero taking on and bonding with the symbiote later in the miniseries, and also having to face even more deadly consequences as a result of that bond. Number 6, Earth 70134. In this reality, things went down a little differently when it comes to the Spider-Man story known as The Other. Instead of embracing and accepting the spider totem within, Peter decides to reject it. Peter would rather not be resurrected than return more spider than man 
happening here. However, the spider totem wasn't the only one hoping to forge a special and permanent connection with Peter. Out in the world, Venom senses that Peter is in his cocoon and now vulnerable with the spider totem rejected and dead. The symbiote leaves its current host, Matt Gargan, in hopes of bonding with Peter and guess what? It's successful. What is born from the union is a monster who calls themselves Poison. No longer is Spider Man alive. Instead, we have Poison in his place. Poison attempts to get Mary Jane to agree to be its partner and kind of its bride, but when she refuses the offer, they decide to dig up Gwen's corpse instead. Spooky stuff. Number five, Dark Dimension. The Dark Dimension is on a whole other scale when it comes to dark, dangerous, and straight up scary alternate worlds. It is the home of the Dread Lord Dormammu, a notorious Doctor Strange villain. The other horrifying thing about this reality is that Dormammu, while residing there, becomes insanely powerful, as this is basically what fuels his own abilities, his magics, and his powers. So he is at his most powerful while in the Dark Dimension, which is also why he's probably the ruler of it, and probably also why you definitely don't want to go there if. Dormammu is there. The Dark Dimension is filled with hellish landscapes, but also mind-melting trippy ones as well. So it's not just a physical hellish reality, it's also a sort of mental and metaphysical one too. Number 4, Earth 14850. This is the reality belonging to the What If story, Wolverine, Enemy of the State. In this version of the well-known Wolverine tale, Logan finds himself brainwashed by Weapon X, but is opposed to becoming free of their control, as happens in 616 he is unable to be saved. His friends and fellow heroes attempt to band together to stop Wolverine by neutralizing him and saving him instead of killing him. In the end, however, this just results in many of their own painful deaths. In the end, it is up to his good friend and student, Kitty Pride, to save Wolverine, but of course, by killing him, as that's really the only way left to deal with Wolverine at this point. In the process, Kitty loses her arm and is only able to save him by phasing her hand through his head and then making it solid while passing through Wolverine's brain. Number three, Earth 811. Days of Future Past, all in all, is a uh, pretty hellish, and it's not even a hell dimension. In the reality of 811, we get to see what would happen if the Sentinels actually succeeded in conquering North America. Not only do they pretty much wipe out almost all mutants and superpowered beings, but the Sentinels also end up enslaving all of humanity for their own good as they see it. The Sentinels decide who gets to breed and who doesn't, marking all citizens with lettered tattoos to denote if they are human, mutant, or basically are humans with like mutant potential. Mutants are kept in camps to serve the Sentinels, and even worse, the Sentinels seem to be planning to take over the entire world, which would inevitably start a nuclear war that would destroy the planet. Number two, Hell. Technically, Hell is its own reality here in the Marvel Multiverse. It is often the name given to Mephisto's reality or realm, who is seen kind of like the Marvel Universe's devil. He claims to be their version of Satan, at least, although a few other powerful demons and entities have also attempted to claim that title as well, including Damon Hellstrom's father and Azazel, Nightcrawler's dad. Mephisto's realm is actually made up of various hellish realms and death dimensions. It typically is shown to look like a fiery, hot, or cavernous style landscape. What you typically think of when you think of the traditional, stereotypical hell of Western Christianity. Number one, what if Doctor Strange Strange lost his heart instead of his hands. What if Doctor Strange lost his heart instead of his hands is the title of the fourth episode of season one of Disney Plus's streaming animated series, What If? Possibly one of the darkest episodes of all allows us to see what would happen were Doctor Strange to have lost his love, Christine, instead of his hands. In this case, Doctor Strange chooses not to let go of the possibility that he might get Christine back, despite the fact that the Ancient One appears and tells him that Christine's death is actually part of an absolute point in time, which basically can't be altered without risking, well, the fate of the universe, Strange changes his own history, going down a dark path to try and find a way to get enough power to bring Christine back. Finally able to do so, just as the Ancient One warned, this does cause the destruction of the very universe that this Strange hails from. What is your favorite alternate reality from Marvel Comics? Which alternate Earth do you think is the most terrifying? And are there any you'd like to see get their very own line of comic series? Let us know in the comments below. This has been Top 10 Nerd, and I'm your host, Amanda McKnight. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, you stay nerdy, YouTube.